before we get started with our angular 8 course let us try to understand why do we need angular 8 practically there are a lot of theory we will discuss that later on but i want to show something you know practically it is not only about angular 8 whether it is angular js or react js or emberland js vue js whatever it may be any kind of ui ux framework why do we need it see this is what we have already seen mvc app i'm logging in as peter and we have lot of options over here i can go for department list department if i click on edit it is reloading the page back it is reloading the page if i say delete it is reloading the page page reloads happens so flickering screen or you can say post back every action is making a post back so what we did we thought of something better than this we implemented jquery based ajax calls so jquery based ajax department here you won't find page reloads say I'm, I'm searching for a record hr do you find any kind of page reload no if i want to edit a record there is no page reload if i say update there is no page reload it has got updated see it is getting updated without any page reloads i'm, I'm moving to page two no page reloads but if we navigate from menus from about us to master pages it is making page reloads but on this page if we make some kind of operations it is not making any kind of page reloads so you can say it is partially single page app we call it as spa not full fledged but partially partially we were achieving what we need but to achieve this to achieve this let us see what we did index we have written lot of code and mix up of everything everything in the sense you will find three things here you will find three things one is your html content you have form one is your html content classes that is bootstrap so one is your html and bootstrap second thing you will find javascript code or you can say jquery code this is your jquery code jquery or javascript code is it not and third thing that you will find that is jquery javascript third thing you will find is data you see we are getting departments then we are iterating through each of the department and we are creating table on the fly writing you know uh, table string hard coding everything no intelligence support even if we miss anything single this uh, td tag then you will face a problem So these are the three things got mixed in the single page, which is very difficult to manage. So what your Angular 8 has done, it has given HTML5 and Bootstrap a separate layer, JavaScript code a separate layer, and data a separate layer. So only in our UI, or in our view we are dividing it into three different layers m model that is your data and this we are going to achieve with the help of typescript controller or you can say component see in angular js we have controller but here we have components so we will see implementing components and writing all our code in components and our views will be separate HTML pages so angular 8 is MVC for your client you 
can say MVC for your client or MVVM for your client. Same like what we had what we have done for server side same thing you can do for client side so normally we call it as mv star as you use you use it as mvc or mvvm so i hope you understood the need or the necessity of your ui ux framework is it clear